Good morning and welcome to St. Mary Parish as we celebrate the memorial of Francis Xavier, friend of Ignatius of Loyola, who went out to the ends of the earth to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. And he calls us to do the same. And so we begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christe eleison, Christe eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the preaching of St. Francis Xavier won many peoples to yourself, grant that the hearts of the faithful may burn with the same zeal for the faith, and that Holy Church may everywhere rejoice in an abundance of offspring. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, if I preach the gospel, this is no reason for me to boast, for an obligation has been imposed on me, and woe to me if I do not preach it. If I do so willingly, I have a recompense, but if unwillingly, then I have been entrusted with a stewardship. What then is my recompense? That when I preach, I offer the gospel free of charge, so as not to make full use of my right in the gospel. Although I am free in regard to all, I have made myself a slave to all, so as to win over as many as possible. To the weak, I became weak, to win over the weak. I have become all things to all to save at least some. All this I do for the sake of the gospel so that I, too, may have a share in it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to all psalm will be, Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness toward us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Go. And teach all nations, says the Lord. I am with you always until the end of the world. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. 
Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the world, whole world, and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. So the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took a seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere, while the Lord worked with them, and confirm the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please join me in the intentions for this Mass for an increased devotion to Mary. And so, in the readings today, we hear and it fits in so perfectly with our saint, St. Francis Xavier, how he went out into the world. He was asked a question when he was 24 years old by a fellow teacher of philosophy, St. Ignatius of Loyola. He asked him, what good is it if you gain the whole world but you lose your soul? At first, he was not ready to give up everything. He had a promising career as a philosophy teacher in Paris. The world seemed to be his oyster. And so, when it came a time, that question was asked over and over. What good if you gain the whole world, but you lose your soul? And so, within a few years, he had joined St. Ignatius of Loyola in starting the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits serving the Pope, going out to teach the whole world, going out to the ends of the earth. And we see how St. Francis Xavier did exactly just that. He did not go among the learned, which would have been easy enough to do. Instead, he became the lowest of the low. He went and taught to the poorest of the poor, learning their languages, taking care of their sick, using the lepers, and going to India, to Sri Lanka, to Malaysia, to Japan, where he learned enough of that language to be able to spread that good news, to be able to baptize, being able to take to those who might not hear this good news, and he gave this gift to them. His wish was to go to China, but he only made it to an island about a hundred miles off the mainland of China. And so, but he was at peace with that. He was at peace because he knew he had done, he had poured out his life, like that libation, like we hear in Philippians. He had done the race, he had done it well, and he was going to receive his crown. And so that's what we are called to hope for that we could be like St. Francis Xavier in our own way. We're not necessarily being called to go out to the ends of the earth, because with the media and everything else, there's so many great ways of getting the news out of Jesus Christ to others. But what we are called each and every day is to give the good news to those in our lives. The ones that we all know the story in some ways, and that's all it is in some ways. And so we are called, as a living an example of our own life, to be that example to others, so that we can be teaching day in and day out. By the kindness we show, they can become kind. By the compassion that we show to others, just like St. Francis Xavier was compassionate to the lepers, we can think of the people in our lives who are often treated like lepers, that we will often treat like lepers, because they don't live up according to our standards. And so where do we need to go to the ends of the world? Where do we need to learn new languages 
so we can be able to talk with those in need and then be able to show that great glory that jesus christ is our savior he came down as a little baby he died for us and so we are called to die in our own small ways of the different comforts that we take for granted so how are we called like saint francis xavier to recognize that we could gain the whole world but lose our soul so where do we need to grow where do we need to be compassionate where do we need to turn more towards god and ask him each and every day lord what do you want me to do today how will you mold me today and how will i go out and preach the good news that jesus christ is lord Let us stand for our petitions. We pray for all those in religious life and all those who serve in the missions that they may be eternally given the strength and the guidance to show the joy of Christ to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our community that we may be set on fire be able to go out to everyone that we are called to meet each and every day to spread that good news, sometimes using words, but mostly by doing what we are called to do, to reflect the face of Christ to others. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick, that they may be given comfort and healing. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who have died, especially those who have died of COVID-19, that they may be welcomed into God's kingdom. We pray to the Lord. And we pray the prayers that are in the quiet of our heart. We pray to the Lord. Good and gracious God, you who tell us to go out to all the world to preach the good news, give us the graces that we need. Give us the traits and the attributes and the gifts needed to spread that good news and let it always be your word and we ask this through christ our lord amen blessed are you lord god of all creation for through your goodness we receive this bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive this wine we offer you. For the vine and the work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all, his holy church. Receive, O Lord, these offerings we bring you in commemoration of St. Francis Xavier. And grant that as he journeyed to distant lands out of longing for the salvation of souls, we too, bearing effective witness to the gospel, may with our brothers and sisters eagerly hasten towards you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give 
give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It truly, it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Francis Xavier, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one, by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At 
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Together, we pray spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May your mysteries, O God, kindle in us that fire of charity with which St. Francis Xavier burned for the salvation of souls, so that walking every more worthily in our vocation, we may obtain with him the reward you promise to those who labor well in your harvest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Before we go, I just wanted to give you an opportunity in years past, as we su support the Women's Center of Chicagoland area, we would always have our Jesse tree, our giving tree, in the gathering space. It would have pink and blue tags, so you could grab a, a tag, or a few tags, for a boy or a girl of a certain age with a certain request. And that was always a lot of fun. But in this time, this virtual time of where we can't quite be in the same way, we have another opportunity. And we were asked to support, again, the Women's Center of the Chicagoland area. And so we don't have a, a Jesse tree, a giving tree, being put up this year. But we have tags available. And they're a little bit different. We aren't being asked to give a certain gift to a certain child, but instead to donate a gift card either for food or gift card for some type of uh, present that will be given later through that gift card. So if you'd be interested in doing that, we have tags here at the Perry Center, we have it in church, and we can get those tags to you. We have two different ones. They look very similar to what we would have had. For pink, we have gift suggest suggestion of $25 gift card to either Walmart or Amazon or the blue we have a gift suggestion of $25 again but to either Myers or Jewel Osco so again food can be given to a family other type of gifts and sundries also and so that allows the Women's Center to be able to distribute in, at their Christmas party in whatever way that'll happen later in this season. But for our duties, if you're still interested in being part of that, as you have, because it brings you great joy to give to others, we ask that you either contact the office and we we'll, can get the tags, or what's even easier, since I know you have access to a computer, is to go to our website and go to our link, and you can actually go and actually get the gift right online in these same ways. And it's not necessarily that it'll be attached to a particular card, but it'll ask for a dollar amount. And then they'll distribute based on what the needs are in case more food was being given than there was gifts. And so they can distribute. So an easy way of you continue to still give. And again, if you do it online this way, you will just put St. Mary Evanston. Because we historically have always been one of the largest parishes to help support the Women's Center here in Chicago. And we'd like to keep that going, even in this time where we do it in a different way. God will continue to bless you. God will continue to bless us as we promote giving, as St. Francis of Xavier did, going to the ends of the world. This is how we can go and preach the gospel. This is how we can go say that Jesus Christ is Lord, that he's coming to change our lives. And so we can take that message out to others. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.